Welcome to this feature walkthrough of vSphere 6.5. In this video, we will focus on the vCenter Server High Availability feature and how to enable it through the Advanced Workflow. The Advanced Workflow is required in the following scenarios. vCenter Server is running within a management cluster where the managing vCenter Server is not in the same SSO domain, or when placing the active, passive, and witness nodes under different management vCenter servers. For enabling vCenter High Availability, or vCenter HA, here are the requisites to be followed. The first step for the advanced workflow is to add a virtual NIC to the vCenter server appliance. This NIC will be used for the vCenter HA network for replication and cluster communication. Adding the NIC will be done from the managing vCenter server. By logging into the VMware vSphere Appliance Management UI, or VAMI, or VAMI, of the vCenter server appliance on which vCenter HA is being enabled. Once the NIC is added, let's configure the IP address settings of the new network adapter. Now that the vCenter HA adapter has been added and configured on the vCenter server, the vCenter HA configuration wizard can be launched by logging into the vCenter server on which we are enabling vCenter HA. Once logged in, click on the vCenter server object in the inventory tree, and then click the Configure tab. Click the vCenter HA item in the Settings menu on the left side. Click the Configuration button in the upper right to start the vCenter HA configuration wizard. Select the radio button next to Advanced, and then click Next. On the Connection IP Settings page, Enter the IP addresses that the passive and witness nodes will use on the vCenter HA network. On the Clone VM screen, verify the IP settings for the passive and witness nodes are correct. Then, as the note at the top indicates, the next step is to create the passive and witness nodes by cloning the vCenter server. Return to the managing vCenter server and initiate the clone process. A unique customization specification for both the passive and witness nodes is required for this step. The exact parameters required here are covered in the full feature walkthrough. Once the clones have been completed, return to the vSphere web client for the vCenter server on which vCenter HA is being enabled. Click Finish in the Configure vCenter HA wizard. Monitor the recent tasks pane for the vCenter HA task to complete. Once complete and vCenter HA is fully configured, the vCenter HA configuration page will refresh to show the status of the vCenter HA cluster. To view more details about the status of vCenter HA, click the vCenter HA monitoring link in the upper right. The vCenter HA monitoring page shows details about the individual nodes, their health, and the replication status. This completes the walkthrough for enabling vCenter HA through the advanced workflow. Thank you.